Hey guys, it's Phoenix Automotive here again, and in this video, we're going to show you how to use the canmcuupdate.hex file. Uh, so this works on certain vehicles. Again, the reason why you're watching this video is because you've been given the canmcuupdate.hex file, and we've asked you to put it in the car. So first things first, you got to check that your USB cables are connected to the unit, and uh, that's at the back of the unit. So we have this brown connector. Some of you might have it yellow, but this brown one has a certain shape, and you plug it in here. And then some of you also may have it labeled USB 1 or 2. We prefer number 1, but if they're not labeled, try one or the other. So we have our USB right here. Let's plug it in. Some USBs have a red light, so you can check that it's reading. And then a USB icon should show up at the top. If the USB icon does not show up, you're going to go to File Manager. At the top, you can scroll left and right. And then on the top left, there's three lines. After you press those three lines, either the third option will be Settings, or at the bottom right, there's like a gear icon. So we're going to press Settings. Go to Display Settings. After you go to Display Settings, you can see USB plug-in message is off. This should be off, meaning no check mark there. So this is correct. After you've done that, I'm going to show you what's inside our USB. So you press those three lines again at the top left. Scroll down to USB storage. And that's once it's, that is what's inside my USB thumb drive. Now, it shouldn't be named anything else. It should be canmcuupdate.hex. There shouldn't be any parentheses, one parentheses, or a space, just like so. So now we have the file in the USB. I see the USB icon. Let's go to settings. On the left side, scroll down to system info. You're going to see this screen. Now, if it is a small, like half screen, like so, you can also work with this, or you can press that little box at the bottom left, and it'll make it a big screen. So press and hold the middle of the screen. 7890. Okay. On the left side should be MCU upgrade. After that, you're going to press can upgrade. And then you're going to have all these options. You might want to try to toggle air pane and then black back to a plug box. Then you're going to press forward upgrade. After you press forward upgrade, there should be a progress bar showing the whole forward upgrade. So that's how to do the canmcuupdate.hex file. I didn't press forward upgrade just because I don't want to run the software. Uh, what you do have to make sure is that your car is running and the engine is on while you're doing this update. That's why I did not run the update because the car is not connected and there's no running car. So make sure your car is running with the engine running. Uh, stay tuned for future content and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.